Have you ever wondered why some medications are taken orally while others go under the tongue? Today we're diving into the world of enteral administration, where we'll explore the differences between oral and sublingual methods, their advantages, and their disadvantages. Enteral administration, a fancy term for administering medication through the digestive system, is the most common and straightforward way of getting those essential drugs into our bodies. It's a broad term that encompasses two primary methods, oral and sublingual. First up, the oral route. This is the method most of us are familiar with, swallowing a pill or a liquid. The convenience of this method is hard to beat, making it highly acceptable for many people. The oral route allows for both local and systemic action of drugs without requiring sterile techniques. Plus, the slow delivery of drugs into circulation means rapid high blood concentrations are avoided, reducing the risk of adverse effects. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The oral route has its downsides. The rate of absorption can vary greatly, and there's a risk of irritating the mucosal surfaces. Plus, there's the pesky first pass effect, where extensive hepatic metabolism occurs before the drug reaches its site of action. This can delay the onset of action, making oral administration unsuitable in emergency situations. And of course, some drugs are destroyed by digestive enzymes or gastric acidity, making oral administration impossible. Now let's move on to the sublingual method. This involves placing the drug under the tongue, allowing it to diffuse into the capillary network and enter the systemic circulation directly. The sublingual method has its own set of advantages. It allows for rapid absorption and effect, which is crucial for certain medications, such as glycerol trinitrate in angina. The effect can be terminated simply by spitting out the tablet. It has a low incidence of infection, and it bypasses that pesky first-pass metabolism. But like the oral route, the sublingual method has its disadvantages. It can be inconvenient and uncomfortable for frequent use. There's also the risk of irritation to the oral mucosa and excessive salivation. So there you have it. The oral and sublingual methods of enteral administration each have their unique advantages and disadvantages. The oral route is convenient and acceptable for many, but its variable absorption rate and potential for irritation make it less ideal in some situations. On the other hand, the sublingual method offers rapid absorption and the avoidance of first-pass metabolism but it can be inconvenient and cause irritation with frequent use. Understanding these differences and trade-offs is key to making informed decisions about drug administration. Remember, the best method will always depend on the specific drug in question and the individual patient's needs and circumstances. And as always, it's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals when it comes to medication administration.